Good day, everyone. My name is Adeshino, and you're welcome to the second series of the VLOOKUP function on Excel. All right, today I'm going to be using the VLOOKUP to determine the tax rate highlighted in blue. All right, I'm going to be using the VLOOKUP to determine the tax rate having determined or having been given the salaries of different personnel, okay, with the salary range and the percentage to be paid displayed on the right, okay? So what I'm going to achieve at the end of the day is to use the VLOOKUP function to determine the tax that somebody is going to pay. Take for instance, Brady. So if Brady earns 43,999 Naira, how much tax is he going to pay? With the tax being defined, in this table to the right. So we are going to use the VLOOKUP function to determine that, all right? So start up, we are going to open our operator with the equals to sign, followed by the function VLOOKUP. Here we have the VLOOKUP, so I can use the tab on my laptop to open the operation. And it said lookup value. So in this case, the lookup value that we uh, will be considering here is the salary. So our lookup value will be this cell. So I can just click on B2, I put a comma. Then it asks me for the table array. Since we have a salary, which we have indicated, and now we are looking for the table array, the table array would definitely be this table over here, which represents the percentage tax that each staff is going to pay, all right? After doing that, I put a comma. Then the next thing will be our column index, okay? So remember I told you in the first session that column index is just a count which Excel use anytime you are using a VLOOKUP function. Because a VLOOKUP function will count from your left to your right. In this case, we have a table, all right, that we've highlighted in red. So if we want to use the VLOOKUP, that means our column index one will be the salary range and our column index two will be the percentage. Okay, since what we want to look up is the percentage tax, we'll go with the column index two, and we'll put a comma. Now it asks me, do I want an exact match or an approximate match? Definitely in this case, I'm going to go for an approximate match. The reason is this, because as you can see the salary, take for instance, Brandy has a salary of 43,999. If you come to this place, you can't see the exact amount for 43,555. What you have is 40,000 and the next is 45,000. So you have to work with a range between 40 and 45. So you put approximate match. So you double click and you close the bracket, then you press enter. So, Excel has calculated the tax rate for our first staff to be 8%. So let us come down to the breakdown for the tax percent. So Excel chose 8% because 8% is for 40,000. The next one after 8% is 9%. And 9% will go for 45,000. 643,999 is not up to 45,000. Excel approximated the tax that B2 
Brandy will be paid as 8%, all right? So it is as simple as that. So now that we've got in for the first half, we can use the same to get for the other staff. All I need to do is to make my table absolute because if I should drag this down and not making this table absolute, as I'm dragging down, the value will not be correct. So let us just do a check for you to see. So if I drag down now, so you can see a lot of different figures here. That is because the table has been shifting, all right? So you can see, keep your eyes on this column. You can see that F has been adding one figure as I go downward. So to prevent this from happening, I go back to my first expression and I make this absolute. So I'll do the same thing for G. While that is done, I press enter. So now I can drag down and you will see that I have a perfect result now. So take for instance, Kiva has a total score of, or a total salary of 13,242. If you come here, you will see that 13,000 is greater than 10,000, but it's less than 15,000, that is 3%. That is why its tax rate is kept as 2%. And you can continue for the other staff down the sheet. Okay, so imagine if you have 50 staff members, if you have 100, 200, all you just need to do is to get the first expression right, go to the lower right corner and drag down and you can get all your results at just one click, all right? So that is how to use the VLOOKUP function to calculate that. But before I go, let me teach you another faster way to get the result, okay? Using our name box. So now that we have the salary range and the breakdown for the tax, I can copy this table and give it a specific name in our name box. By so doing, what I'm going to save myself is I'm going to save myself the stress of coming here and making this absolute like I did the other time. So let's do that. Let's open a new um, column and name it tax rate two. All right. So we have it as tax rate two. So what I'm going to do first of all is to highlight my salary range. Then I come into the box. Then I put this as tax table and I click enter. All right. So what I've done is I've given this whole table a unique name called tax table. So now you can see my name box. All right, my name box has just shown here that this highlighted uh, information is known as tax table. So if I come here once more and I say equals to VLOOKUP, the same operation just like we did the other time, the lookup value will still be my first cell, comma. Then now I'm going to put tax. So you can see, just by pressing tax, it brings out this and say tax table. And I double click, all right? Just by double clicking the tax table, you can see it has gone further to highlight the information. And I put a comma, I put my column index, which is two, then approximate match is what I want. Then I close the bracket and press enter. So now I have my percentage as 
So for, with this one, I can easily drag down without having to worry. And I have my percentage, all right? So just as you have here, I can change this, okay? So you can see 8%. I'll do the same thing too for this guy I highlight. I come to my percentage. And you can see that I have the same results just like I did for the FEX tax rate. So there are different ways by which you can approach this. And I believe this one is much, the second way is much more easier because I wouldn't have to think of using the absolutes for uh, keeping some of my sales constant. I can just come here and name the table and that will give me the results I want. So that is how to use the VLOOKUP to get um, information. In this, uh, in this case, the tax rate that some particular staff in a company are going to pay for their salary. Thank you.